Hello and welcome to the Ben Tablet Show. I'm a little bit late and um, not like, okay, five, six minutes late. And it's an early start, but this way we will do this show and we will actually be able to watch the US chess championships um, right afterwards. I mean, I won't be watching, I have to work, but at least you can make a full chess filled evening out of it. Okay, first of all, before we get started, I would still like to point out the 15% discount for getting the premium. There are some non-premiums in the chat, so if you plan to do it, use the Chess Explained voucher code to get the 15%. Okay, let's get rolling. Who is challenging me? Frankie Four Fingers, okay. I don't have a good score against him. Like one game played, one game lost. There's a question, where is Jan and Peter? Well, not around, <laughs> obviously. What is a6 waiting for me to play d4? Okay. Hmm, interesting. Never seen that line. Yeah, it's it's solid for black. It's not like you can refute this easily. Prevent bishop b4, probably just knight f6. Yeah, a6, it's a bit of a weird waiting move. Maybe I should play h3 against it. <laughs> it would be funny, yeah? It's maybe not such a bad idea. Where is he going to g8? Really? Okay. Surprising. Okay, I'm just stopping c5. That's an unusual way to play, I guess, but c5 is probably important. Yeah. Really? Pooh. I don't know. <laughs> I have my doubts about that. It looks very weakening. Very weakening. Oh. I can't just take with the knight. Or... Hmm. Hmm. Nah, probably taking with the pawn is more aggressive anyway. And now bishop to f7. Or... Yeah, this is probably why I, I lost the first game against this person. He plays so weird that I lost on time or something. It's really weird chess, but, like... but it doesn't look like I can refute it instantly. At least I don't see it. Hmm, okay, I need to do something quickly here. That looks um, like the right thing to do. Just open it up. Hmm. 
And now I can take g6, but it doesn't help all that much. Let's take. Yeah, and now probably just this. Keep everything consolidated. Um, yeah. Now, he's he's reasonably well centralized. This is uh, really what makes Black's position still um, playable. And maybe he's got things like Bishop C3. Yeah, yeah he's got that. He's got that. Yeah, it's still, still tough to not do what bishop was hanging. I don't think so. Somebody says the bishop was hanging. I don't, I don't know. Bishop d6. Really? <laughs> Didn't see anything. not good I did not want to take them it was not intended surprising that he gives me a protected passer on f5 hmm. so is it possible to Here for knight d2. That must be pretty good for me. This ending. Some weird things happening. No, they, those, those pawns are, I think, uh, more of a weakness than anything else. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's got no. It's got knight d5, but. I can take and then knight f4 maybe he tries something like that yeah maybe I should have prevented that hmm. I don't get it uh, what's happening here Knight e4 on the cards. Not really able to prevent it. Maybe we can just take with the bishop now. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit. <clears throat> tricky to play here with the knights 
what he can take with the bishop. Hmm, he doesn't. g3 or something i never predict a move here by black weird that was a weird game i had no clue what's going on yeah thanks for the game frankie four fingers um bauer e4 yeah let's do it um yeah okay i should probably play that then the exchange variation of the other kinds one of those the exchange variation that's a little bit more interesting some exchange variations tend to be quite um, yeah quite symmetrical and not super exciting but in the in the other kinds the exchange is oftentimes non-symmetrical like here with e takes c takes I think I just am happy to get the bishop here. Yeah, not. It's not um, a very comfortable position for black. The issue for black here is that you have a hard time to ever change the pawn structure. I've got this space advantage and um, you have almost no chance to play b5 and e6 um, I hopefully also will prevent you can simply improve with white just uh, in a very slow way Okay. No B five, please. Okay, and the question is do we go do I go G four or not? Yeah, it's it's tough to not play it, it's so tempting. That it is it is nice for me but it is not super simple knight c5 will always take on b3 yeah this maybe knight takes pawn takes
Mm. Yeah, a queen has to move basically. Oops. Oops. A four and five. Yeah, I also thought about it, but knight d5. Black cannot take it. It must be good, I think. No, the black loses a rook, yeah? It's not not just a minor piece or something, it's a full rook. Yeah, thanks for the game, Bauer E4. Battery Bob. Okay, I can go C4 again. Played lots of E4 in that session, but a little bit of variety. Does not hurt. A bit loud outside. Black seems to know this line with bishop e6 and taking with the bishop that uh, is quite a playable variation for black. White's idea here is to push d4 in a way that the bishops are not traded. So I want to go d4 takes, knight takes. Hmm? Well, black could have taken on c4, that's a possibility. Huh. Why isn't bishop f4 good? It looks very good and natural. Hmm. Merp. It was a piece. Yeah, thanks a lot for the game Battery Bob. Discombobulated. <laughs> Oh, it's funny, but uh, I'd like a rated game. Stump at you. Yeah, what does stump at you mean? It sounds Dutch. Yeah, very normal development here in this Maroxy point type of position. And black is going for this, um, yeah, this um, queen maneuver, queen d8, queen a5 maybe. I don't quite remember how I play this, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
in this um, kind of position there is sometimes bishop takes f6 and knight d5 this is a um, an idea I once actually had in a tournament game and it was quite it was quite dangerous let's do it I mean it is not exactly this position but maybe after bishop a1 I can simply take on e7 <laughs> I just wonder take e7 take c8 but the knight is probably impossible to evacuate hmm Yeah, Stumpert here is a, a cartoon character from the Bambi movie from the that's the 1950s. Okay, take e7, yeah. King f8, probably knight to take c8. And bishop e5. That's the problem. Yeah? Knight d6, queen c5, merp. I wanted to do this anyway, so let's uh, let's play like that. It is probably not 100% correct, but it's definitely um, an interesting choice. I play f4, f5, and this is not easy to handle. You can never go e6. Eh? That knight is strong. I mean, absolutely strong. Okay. Let's stop the b5 push. f5 for black is suggested but then uh, i can take and play rook f3 yeah, this is not easy for black i mean if you check the black Rooks, no, they're not exactly active. Yeah, still, how do you... Yeah, knight takes e7 wasn't clear, I think, as I mentioned the line, um, or the line that I mentioned, I think, um, looked um, problematic okay so here there are a couple of things that I can try I think I'm going to get the queen over to h3 maybe No, this is not uh, not nice to play for black. Yeah, here I'm close to being able to take and sacrifice. Not sure if it works yet, but I can definitely do this. Okay. Okay, there is b4 also in this position, but 
don't really get much out of it. Hmm. Yeah, how do you how do you make more headway in this position? It's possible that I'm not making any more progress here. No, taking taking does not really help me. Maybe it's got H5. What is he doing there? The queen is not really having all that many squares. Knight b4 blunders the pawn though. Hmm. What does he? He wants to do this. I definitely don't want to make a draw. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Ah, let's gamble. This is a huge gamble, probably completely idiotic, to be honest. Now that I look at it, it doesn't work really. But, uh, it doesn't work. What was I thinking? Oh. Wow, that gamble paid off. I did, don't think it worked at all. Whee. Yeah, thanks for the game Stumpachi. That was uh, really, really uh, uh, complicated. Okay, so discombobulated. Uh, here we go. Pretty evenly matched um, game. Leading for one though. Ah, that's a wacky gambit here against the against the um, Petrov. I'm not sure. That's a, a bit of a simplistic way to do it, but not a bad way, I guess. Okay. I try to undermine the knight on e5. Going for easy development. Now there's a bit of pressure on the knight. Maybe he's taking on c6. Yeah, this is the 
um, the, the main alternative. No, of course, can do that. Yeah, white tries to maybe exploit slightly weakened central squares. This um, is a little bit similar to um, yeah lines, let's say, of the Scotch Four Knights. I tried to play c5 here. Oh, really? Eh, that looks a little bit odd. The bishop sitting on b3. Hmm. You can also just take twice, but. It also looks fine. A bishop d7 was simple, and yeah, maybe that was better. probably was better. I didn't want to t take this or trade the bishop, feeling that he might get some structural issues with this piece long term. But currently it is just well, piece, uh, well positioned on a4, so I probably should have traded. Okay, and now I got this down. It's not bad if I get the bishop traded against the knight. Yeah, that yeah, looks decent. Just need to get to an ending. Rook e1, bishop d3 doesn't work. What? Mm. Ah, of course, the queen is protected. I didn't didn't spot that. Okay. Bishop d d3, rook e7, bishop c2, bishop c2. Okay, that means I rather want to um, keep the tension for the moment. Yeah, this is exactly the scenario that I wanted. Queen and knight against bishop and um, and queen. That must be um, comfortable. Okay. Not so easy now for him to activate it. I could have taken only one. Yes, yeah, yeah, well spotted. Yeah, that's true. I made a mistake there. Yeah, yeah. I missed the winner of the exchange.
Yeah, I was also happy to get to this kind of position. I didn't look all that much for uh, the window of material, which is of course uh, wrong. I should have uh, should have seen it. Mm -hmm. Okay, he has completely wrecked his pawn structure now. Okay. I think I'm slowly making a bit of headway here. has to trade now with queen e2. Yeah, now white's king position is getting more and more problematic. Yeah, thanks for the game discombobulated. Okay, who else is on? Yona 2007. That's a new account. Sorry. Yeah, this is actually um, quite a reasonable variation for black. <coughs> Sorry, it's not played all that often. Oops. That looks a bit slow. I don't know, this, this could be, maybe this is a little bit rushed, but uh, it might also immediately give black oh, that, that's, that's nice. made. Thanks for the game, Yona 2007. Who else is on there? Magician the Mighty. I have played him. I think um, most of the players I played at least once. Oh, I didn't play Daniel here. Let's play Daniel. Daniel, Koya, hmm, Karo, no, probably not doing this right. Okay, I played the Petrov worked. Let's do it again.
Yeah, here with C form, this is getting um, this is uh, an interesting type of position. Um, we call it IQP. Um, the unusual thing is the piece placement. Uh, the black piece placement is a little bit uncommon, but I think it's quite interesting. I've got quite active pieces and try to um, yeah play for the winner of the pawn. Okay, let's go here. I've got knight c4 and maybe just taking. Oh, I can just take, not. Yeah, that's quite reasonable. This position for for black. Got active pieces and uh, okay. The pawn remains a potential weakness. I'm just trading down. I wonder if I take here queen takes and queen to b5 I'm threatening those wacky double checks I'm not sure does, does it actually threaten something <laughs> maybe and I'm threatening b2 no it does threaten it does threaten uh, oops knight e3 or d2 knight e3 king e1 Check King D two. Is he surviving this? That would be absolutely weird. Ninety two. Of weird, really. I didn't see a maid. Queen F two. King C one. Talk about wacky. Okay, I was thinking I could just take now with the pawn. I mean, or check. And King B three. Hmm. What a weird, weird sequence. Ah, it's got 92. I just spotted it and I cannot take it due to mate. Ah, no, I'm losing this game. Ah, what, uh, what, that, that's totally weird. Ah. Ah. I mean, I saw that there is a back rank issue, but it was just too late. Mm. Oh my God. What a stupid way to lose a game. It was definitely better for black, like a lot better for black. I still have screwed it up completely. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm still going to continue for a moment, but it is uh, certainly completely lost. Not queen before. <laughs> Ah, it's got queen e8. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, it is lost anyway. Okay. Mm, wants to go knight g4. Yeah. Mm I can can always hope for a weird perpetual. I'm also um, down on time. Position has improved. No, the queen. <laughs> I blundered the free and queen. <laughs> and now the pawn is promoting. It was absolutely dirty, but unintended. Oh my goodness. Ugh. How much luck can you have in one game? That was a completely bizarre game, that's true. Okay. Let's not uh, be too critical there. <laughs> um, okay, Shelling Ford is on. Shall I play Stelling Ford? Should, probably should, yeah. Those games are always tough. I've got black actually. Often have white, I think, in the Shelling Ford encounters. about this opening yeah 
Yeah, of course, you can snack on c6. White has a, a bit of a. Yeah, he's a little bit loose, let's say, but uh, the position must be okay for white, for sure. I mean, okay, I mean, I think white is probably a bit better, but. I have some compensation though, it's not completely, it's not entirely pointless what black is doing. I need to, I think, oh, that, that I did not expect. Well, I can probably just take and get the bishop to f6 for enough pressure. Yeah, bishop f6, that is okay. I have good compensation here in this position. Maybe, um, well, let's do this first. Yeah, queen d5 looks very normal. Tempo on f3, rook c8 on the cards, and queen a2. Queen a2 is a really annoying move. Yeah, queen a2. Or just queen to b5. That is also not nice to play. to say I want to prevent the castling though that that's really tempting I'm just wondering how I continue. Rook c8 threatening rook c4, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Rook Rook g4, maybe? Is that the idea? But I have h5, yeah, that traps the rook. Almost. So rook c4 and then rook c2. Bishop c3, I had bishop c3 already, yeah? I wonder if I should do it now. Mm. Doesn't actually do all that much. But this is good, yeah? It is simple and good. Now bishop c3 is a much more um, serious threat 
Yeah, bishop c3 takes queen b1. Should win. So now I don't want to let him escape. I think I have to keep the pressure on like this, threatening rook d8. So um, how do we win here? Taking, uh, there is no direct win. Rook d8 is pretty strong, I guess. Yeah. I don't see a mate as the weird thing. There should be a mate. But it looks a look it looks a lot like some Zugzwang. What does he actually play? Uh, this is actually good, yeah. I'm just, I'm just careful here because, I mean, <laughs> he cannot do anything. You can really take your time. Probably that wasn't even the easiest way to do it. If you think about it, probably I had something better. Yeah, very likely I had something better. Queen G4 winning. Yeah, I think it does. Mm, I'm slow, but not that slow. really that slow. I bet it's enough. Yeah, thanks for the game shelling. Tough one. But um, I think I really had a good position out of the opening there. Somehow. Poo. Yeah, there were, there were probably quicker wins, but um, it was, um, I think it was, it was good anyway. Let's say, okay, Yuka Lati, 33. Okay, I clicked. Okay, now we got to get the game. <coughs> yeah, I always like to get the 
<coughs> sorry, this Meroxy bind. <coughs> I'm sorry. E6. Oh, hey, okay. Hmm. It looks dangerous there on d6. Yeah, dangerous is an understatement. should stop that sound from my mobile um, oh he's just taking us okay yeah so I've won a pawn which is nice but Steel fields are uh, very problematic there on the dark squares. Let's see how to do that. I want to get onto the dark squares. Yeah, how to do that? I can play this and queen d4. That's simple, actually. And queen d4. That's a, that's an issue. Knight f5 is. I can take it. Yeah. Ah, e5. Ah, he's got e5. Ah. E5 takes it. Knight f5. Wow. Yeah, and then queen d4 isn't even that great, but okay, he has to find this move, which is not so difficult, and it's the only move. Oh, he resigns. Yeah, that was still possible, you know. Yeah, this is not great. Well, not even good, yeah. Well, thanks for the game, Yukalati, but you couldn't, you could, uh, could have um, continued. Farku Frias, who the hell is that? Who is Farku Frias? Frias? I don't know. It's water. I think I'm playing, somehow I feel I have more whites today. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, so that's the uh, Rosolimo Sicilian. No, there was no mate, I think, in that game. In the game before. <laughs> you keep irritating me with remarks like that. Didn't you have a checkmate? Hmm. Um, well, maybe, <laughs> if I overlooked a mate, I'm sorry, but I don't think there was a mate on H8, cannot believe it. Hmm. He's got knight d5. He had knight d5. Yeah, 
<laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. Um, that they act like for irritating me. <laughs> no, no, no. It's totally okay if you say it wasn't that I made. I'm just like, hmm. Yeah, because I'm. I know I'm perfectly capable of doing stupid things. Like overlooking a made in one. That's not. Uh, that's really possible. <laughs> but I don't think so. I don't think so. In this particular case. I thought he should have played h6. What is that hammering? Can you stop the hammering? And why is there actually anybody around to hammer? <laughs> yeah, my neighbor who was at the door like one hour earlier uh, when that was in the German show, is not supposed to be here in the first place. Anyway, um, so he wants to go f5, I guess. I think I'm probably, I should probably um, trade. And now, Bishop to C8. Okay, I'm not quite sure where he's going with this. I mean, okay, the bishop on a6 sucked, so <laughs> it, it definitely makes sense to try to improve it. So, I'm not saying it's a bad move, it's just that I didn't, it doesn't have anything in particular to go to. In general, this kind of structure is a bit difficult for black because he has moved many pawns simply, and the pawn structure is not. It's not very compact. He always has to worry about um, weaknesses. It looks kind of weird. If I go to h4, what are you doing then? g5? They're really hammering the whole time. What the heck? Huh, okay. Not a move that I had on the radar, but I cannot sacrifice, yes. No, cannot sacrifice. To fight against fight against the knight. Yeah, knight takes or rook takes. Rook takes looks a little bit. It's no, I have to take. Taking with the knight is a bit more interesting. Oh, gives me the c5. Not sure I came there. Yeah. I played that a tad too quickly. That wasn't it wasn't so clear that the knight is good on c5 to be honest. I mean it felt completely unnecessary to give me that, but I'm not sure that I actually should have gone there so quickly. C3 is weak as well, yeah, that's the problem.
Ah, I have to go to H2. No, oh, that's sick. I'm completely misplaying this great position. I had an absolutely great position there. And I'm, I'm absolutely uh, misplaying it. I thought I might have some play against the king, but it does not really materialize. What does he do though? Take on h3? Hmm. I have no time on the clock. It's really something I should think about. Queen G5. It's going to checkmate me. Or no, I'm going to the only friggin' square to lose the game. That's not. Cr that's crazy. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. Ah, what that sick. That's so sick. I just had control of the game again, yeah? Everything was okay. And then you play Queen C1, yeah? Ah. Ah. Anyway. Yeah, thanks for the game. Fuck who fries. That's the way to lose. Blunder queen in one move. Ah. Okay. My score against Latreya is one to six. That's that's wacky. How can I have one to six? against someone where I should be the clear favorite. Hmm, that's strange. I mean, being behind is kind of okay sometimes, but one to six? No, that's not pre-move. He might play B takes. Oh, he does. That's a mistake. I don't think I can win immediately with something like bishop h6. It, it should be really clear advantage. But maybe it's not killing yet. Ah, he's got f6. It's a bit of a miracle that he's not immediately losing this stuff, but seems to be the case.
yeah this is <clears throat> supporting the knight and um, in some case I might have I might have uh, might have b5 knight b3 looks like a good move but there's bishop e4 G4 is very loose. Yeah, it's not so clear. I mean, from a structural point of view, it looks terrible. For black but maybe it is not so bad and now he plays it <laughs> could have done that before okay b5 will probably win some material not sure that it is so great though yeah he will I'll give up material now after 96 but it is not a clear thing Exactly. Yeah, this is here. I actually can take on g7, but it's probably not so clear. Yeah, and this situation also is not not just a simple win. Also, I mean, he's got some material for it and uh, some coordination. Even b4 takes a4 is interesting, but I mean, objectively, I think that should not work for black, but yeah, it's blitz and it's just not so easy. Yeah, b5 or I think b5 looks good. Yeah, and now go B six first. Yeah, it's not easy. A two looks like looks normal. Yeah, B7 does not help. Really doesn't. Mm. Not easy. This idea is simply A2 and then take on B6. Maybe I have to get the king out of the checks. That saves the a pawn at least for the moment. Mm, I don't know. I don't have a really good idea here what to do.
shoot. He's getting to e4 and wins this game. Ah, that's crazy. Uh, Bishop e4 was even stronger. Maybe this is good as well. Yeah, it's still it's still easier for black yeah with the with this yeah just some rook b2 i cannot this is um almost impossible to hold He's playing this really terribly badly, but it's still it's still not easy for me. Yeah, I mean, I have no clue. It was completely lost yeah, near the end of the game. There were many ways for black to win. And um, yeah, I don't know. We should never survive the opening. This is completely atrocious. Anyway, thanks for the game, Latreya. And let's see what happens next. Smashing Glad. Yeah, maybe I should just play knight e4 in the opening or something, not try to win immediately. I mean, knight h6 and e5, the combination is really bad, but probably not so bad that you can try for a forced win. Yeah, especially glad is not answering. Oh, I actually just, I just figured out that we've got eight. <laughs> it's eight o'clock already. <laughs> I should have shouldn't have started this game. The show is almost is always over. Always over. Okay. Should have at least started a quicker game. Oops. Castling long is correct. Hmm, that was a bit. That was not good. A three is a pretty awful move because I mean it doesn't fit with castling long, and if I don't castle long, it's all a little bit. That's that's a little bit meek. White's play. Yeah, just bishop e7, no? Yep. You know, black's position is completely fine. You can also just, just uh, simply castle short. Hmm, it does not do it. Huh, bishop f4. It looks it looks a bit it looks dangerous to take on d4.
Maybe he can take. I don't want. Not sure. it's not easy that's not that's not nice i will win even more tempi yeah queen a5 queen a5 um even simply queen f1 knight h5 hmm yeah here i got rook d1 i think this is quite dangerous Yeah, it's it's really tough. I don't think he's got a great move here. Yeah, here queen f3 is simple and strong. I mean, the knight cannot move. I didn't see a defense anyway, but... Um, Yeah, bishop g6, or maybe, maybe bishop e4 is actually better. No, that is better. I mean, where is he going now? No, if the queen moves, I just take f6. Yeah, here I can take the queen with check. Yeah, and smashing glad to resign, so the game was not that long. <laughs> okay. I hope you enjoyed uh, the English Banter Blitz show. I will be back on next week. And um, the starting time will, as it was today earlier, it will be uh, 6.30 uh, p.m. Central European time, two hours earlier than usual. We're going to avoid um, to be on at the same time with the uh, US championships. And we're going to avoid next week also the Bayern Real Madrid football game, soccer game. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I'll be back next week. Just be um, aware of the earlier starting time. Bye-bye.